Hey friends and welcome to Social Superstar. My name is Hana and today I'm doing something very very exciting. But before I get started, I want you guys to go down there and hold smash that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up and turn on the post notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So let's get rolling. Hey friends and welcome to Star Talkies. Photography has turned out to be a very famous hobby for many of us. I have here today a renowned photographer. Let's welcome none other than the famous Tapu Javeri. Hi Tapu uncle. Hi Anna, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Mashallah, I'm good. Okay, so would you like to introduce yourself? I am Tapu Javeri. I take pictures. Okay, uh, and I have a lot of question answers planned for you. Shoot. Okay, so not many people know that your real name is Mustafa. So how did you get to your name Tapu? Well, first of all, we're not supposed to tell anybody my name is Mustafa. We keep it a secret. <laughs> this is my dual life. Um, my parents named me Mustafa. Mm. Okay, but my father thought I was a very hyper child and I used to run around everywhere. So he, he called me Tapu. I think somebody used to tapko everywhere. And then they thought, let's try and make it civilized. So they tried to civilize it by calling me Tipu. And everyone said, no, he is Tapu, he'll always be Tapu. And that's my name. Yeah, I think that's a very cool, clever way. <laughs> yeah, there's like a whole story behind it. Like how you got your name and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. So how did you become a photographer? I was a very active child who always wanted to do everything in the world yeah. and uh, one day my father, I think when I was very young, maybe nine years old, yeah. he gave me this plastic camera wow. and uh, that was like my best friend because I would go around, I would photograph everybody. Yeah. First of all, you know, you photograph your family yeah. and your friends, the kutta, billi, yeah. whatever yeah. and then eventually started photographing outside. Yeah. And uh, when it became better, then my father said, okay, now I think you can get a better camera. So I got a better camera. Was it your toy that you got? And then you started thinking that, okay, now I like to do this and now I'm going to yeah. do what I have to. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. What was your hobby as a child? Did you take pictures then? I, and then? I, was, I, had, I had loads of hobbies, okay, but uh, I love taking pictures. And then I loved keeping animals. And what I really wanted to be was a naturalist. I wanted to be, you know, like, you know, David Attenborough and go around the world and look at things like that. So uh, that's where I started photographing animals and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and then, then eventually got into fashion and other things. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm just liking all your answers. You like animals, of course. Yeah, I have a dog. Yeah. What kind of photography do you like to do? Do you like to do wildlife, travel or fashion? I, I like to do more. all of them for a little while. You know, I love I love photographing people. That's my favorite hobby. To photograph faces and people, mm. okay? okay? So, if I get a chance to travel, then I'll be doing travel photography and yeah. taking pictures yeah. of people. If I have a chance to, you know, do some fashion, then I'll do that. Yeah. So basically, you never get bored because you're not doing one thing, you're doing everything. Nowadays, people usually use their phones to take pictures. So, do you like to use your phone or do you like to use your camera to take pictures? Okay, I always have my camera with me. It's in the car, usually hidden away in a box. So I always have a camera with me, but yeah. if I don't have the energy to go and take out mm -hmm. that, then I take my phone out. So, you know. So you like both? To, to each like his both. own, yes. Nice. I've heard you design jewelry. Yeah. So what's more fun, capturing pictures or designing jewelry? Well, they're both fun. They're totally different because they're both creative yeah. things. Yeah. So as you, as a jeweler, I'm making jewelry and, and I see mm. people wearing it and it's yeah. very nice. As a photographer, I take pictures of people and yeah. I see that yeah. result. So I think it's more like the process of doing something creative that you have something to so show you for you don't it. like one thing, you like multiple yeah. things. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, I think 
it it should be a proud thing that like people are wearing the jewelry you make yourself. Yeah, yeah. And that's pretty cool. How much do you hate or love selfies? Do you hate selfies or do you love selfies? Okay, I hate my own selfie. <laughs> but I like other people's selfies because I like to see how people display themselves to the world. So if you noticed everyone makes that fish face, you know the that that yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Well, Nobody in no human normally makes that face. They only make it for that selfie. If you put them in front of the camera and you're taking their picture, they'll never make that face. And it's it's a really weird phenomena that yeah. is actually fun to see. You can see what people make idiots of themselves. I I you you actually have no choice. You'll have to take pictures yes. with me at the end. You'll have to take a selfie with me. What has been the best experience so far as a photographer? Oh, oh god I have lived a long life and I've photographed for a very long time it's very difficult to pull out one good one um I have had the chance of photographing Madam Noorjahan you probably don't know her she's a famous yeah. actress and singer yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a concert and that, on that her that was a gorgeous song. experience it was in, well, I think it was like 3 to 4 years ago I had a concert in my in kindergarten and it was i had to sing a song of her i had to dance on and everything and it was just i thought it was so embarrassing just dancing in front of stage but <laughs> well, and I, then everybody was proud i can't of dance so that's i'm safe there <laughs> <laughs> but that's not it you know i've just i photographed madam noorjahan but i've been to safari in africa and nice. i photographed that i've gone to japan and photographed women in kimonos really? uh, yeah i've gone to nepal and i've climbed to you know what for example my father K2. told me nepal was really beautiful yes it's really yeah? beautiful yeah i think it's a very good experience you've been in africa i've never been to africa it's worth going yeah yeah okay now let's move on to a rapid fire i'm scared now <laughs> you should <laughs> you're going to like everything okay <clears throat> If you go, were going to wake up tomorrow morning and the sun was missing, what would you do? And what was waking? And if the sun was missing, oh like God. the sun was not there, what would you do? Photography means painting with light. I wouldn't be able to paint. I wouldn't be able to photograph. I mean, end of story. And we'd be dead. I think. I think I would uh, get my blanket and go back to sleep, thinking it was night time, because. Because you don't know if it's day or night. If the sun was missing, it would be all dark. Well, if it was missing, it would be really cold right now because that temperature would drop to some insane yeah. amount. Yeah. Best spot for a vacation? Um, I love Thailand. Leave me on a beach somewhere, and I'll be very happy. Yeah, I like beaches, but I think the best spot for my vacation would be Disney World. Yeah, because I've been, and it was just a really good experience, and I liked it. So as long as, long as those lines aren't there, because waiting for one hour to do a ride is no fun. No, uh, but we had half of the fast passes, so we were good. Yeah. If you could choose, what would be the food that we had to eat for um, maybe the rest of our life? What would it be? Dal chawal. I love dal chawal. Nice. So I, 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 I'm going to yeah, say like that. Yeah, I like dal chawal too. Yeah. I think mine would be khao sui. Okay, it's a good second. Yeah, because I really like khao sui. If you could trade lives with anyone, who would it be, and why? I don't want to trade with anybody. Um, you like your life? Yeah, I like my life. I've done everything. What more is left? I mean, fine. I mean, I'm not. Madonna, who's done a lot more than me, but uh, who cares? You've lived your life to the fullest. Like somebody you like, maybe it could be a celebrity, celebrity, maybe that like you really like and you want to trade lives. There would be people I'd like to photograph, which I, I in my wish list. That'd be lovely, but I want to change my life with them. You don't. No. I would like to trade my life with my teacher. I want to give her the pain that the students have doing. What? <laughs> It's a good way out. <laughs> How many times were you grounded when you were little? Uh, lots and lots of times. More than I can remember, actually. I've never been grounded. I don't think so. You haven't been grounded? Hmm. Then you've never done anything wrong. I've done loads of things wrong. Um, 
I have, but my parents haven't never grounded me. I yeah. think they need to investigate you a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I fingers crossed I never get grounded again. Okay, I, I like never get grounded in my life. Well, fingers crossed now nobody can ground me. <laughs> I think that's summer in, or would you like to spend your summer on the beach or would you like to spend your summer in the mountains? I'd like to spend one summer on the beach and one summer in the mountains so that I can have the best of both worlds Imagine. or else if we have a very long vacation wow. how about going to a beach and then a mountain at the same time I think I would go to the mountains because I've been to Hunza and it's just beautiful beach like everywhere is hot but the best cold spot would be I think in Hunza yeah I just love going there what is one thing you're most afraid of I'm afraid of so many things. There's not one thing. I'm afraid of this planet going, well, the sun disappearing in this wow. planet. <laughs> I'm definitely, yeah. now that you've given me this new yeah. fear. Okay. Um, I'm afraid that, you know, we won't exist after Corona. We, you know, there's so many things you're afraid of. But the thing I'm is, you just lizards. have to persevere. Lizards. lizards. What are you afraid of? Lizards. Lizards? Why? This is creepy. They're so pretty. Oh my. No, I'm very serious. What animal do you know that can change its skin color to match the surroundings? It's an mm, yeah. in incredible thing. I don't like those tiny lizards. I'm okay with iguanas but because they're actually also beautiful. It's not like that, but those tiny lizards, you talk about them in France. Chipkulis are fabulous. They keep the mosquitoes <laughs> down. No, those are spiders. Frogs. If you won a million dollars, what would you buy? I'd go on a holiday. I'd go on loads of holidays. Ah. But a million dollars doesn't go very far now. I want a billion dollars. So that I can <laughs> really have a good holiday. Yeah, yeah. a very good holiday is cool. Yeah, yeah, a few of them. I'd take a year off and I'd see every place wow. in the world that I want to see. You know, I want to see the Northern Lights, I want to go and see Machu Picchu. I've never seen the Northern Lights. I want to go to Brazilian Lights. concert. I only see them in a cartoon, but I've never really seen Northern Lights yeah. and they seem really beautiful. Um, what would I, I, have you seen Richie Rich? No. Oh, um, it's this uh, kid's cartoon. So he's really rich and he has a mansion which his own robot okay. made. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has his own amusement park and his own race car. And I would want that huge mansion and I would want in that I would add something which would be um, maybe my own private jet. Yeah. Bad. Cool. Barbie mm -hmm. has everything, you know that. Huh? No. No, <laughs> I don't watch Barbie okay. anymore. Fine. Do you speak any other language except for English and Urdu? I speak a bit of French. I speak Greek. Um, you want me? I need English, Urdu. I understand Gujarati and Sindhi. Nice. That's it. That's it. Not many though. I'm learning Chinese. Well, I wish I spoke Chinese. Would make it so easy mm. for me to order food. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Morning, noon, or night, the best time to take a photo is? Evening, it's called the golden hour. It's right before the sun sets, and when, you know, right after that point, and yeah. the light becomes golden, and it's called the golden hour. It's the best time to take anybody's picture. Um, yeah, I, I agree because the sun sets really beautiful yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, I think so. What do you think of when I say cheese? Cheese? I usually think of <coughs> bad snapshots. Because oh. that's what everyone does when they want to take a, a bad picture. It's usually at the, the end of the thing, cheese. Have you ever heard of some you know, fashion photographer telling his model that the other side say cheese? Because imagine what they look like in Vogue if they all said cheese. <laughs> Thank you. So, no. That's the end. That's the end. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now can I interview? I don't want you to go. I want to interview you now. Okay. Sure how did you time. how did you discover this thing? YouTube channel and your interviewing persona. Hmm. Who inspired you? Um so 
I don't know, I was scrolling down YouTube and I saw this thing, this picture of a kid who was interviewing Katy Perry. She was sitting with Katy Perry. And then, you know those videos that start playing even though you don't click on them? So I was just going through that, I was just looking at that and I was like, this is really cool. Like, how would it be like to hit subscribers? Because I was really, I really like YouTube. In my free time, if you give, give me to do something, I would just watch YouTube. So, and I saw the video because I thought that was really cool. So I went on the video, I saw it and I was like, wow, celebrities, you interview them, that would be pretty cool. And who and would you want to interview? Your, the ultimate person you would like to interview? The ultimate person. Yeah. Mm. Katy Perry, you know? I think, yeah, Katy Perry, because she's pretty cool. She and Ellen. Billy Ellis, she's cooler. I have heard about Billy Ellis. Yeah. Have you uh, heard about. What do you call it? Um, Ellen, yeah. Have you heard about her? Ellen. Ellen? She is this. Uh, oh, the, the talk show host, Ellen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know her. Yeah, I would love to interview her. She would put my spirits up. Like, she would. Yeah, she we, plays games we need on to her call show. Her. We need to get her on the line and we need to get her at least, if you can't call her yeah. here, you can have a television with Ellen on it and you can interview her, why not? Done, this is the project. We, we would need have to a get Zoom meeting Ellen with her. on your show. Yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. You have to set a goal, that's the idea of life. You set a goal, achieve it yeah. and then set another goal. So Ellen's your new goal. Every school term, our teacher gives us this paper and then we have to write a paragraph about our goal. Yeah. And then she gives it to us and she tells us to pin it somewhere or stick it somewhere so that we remember this is our goal and we have to achieve it. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I learned too. Mashallah. I wish you could come again and we could have another fun interview. Yeah, we'll come inshallah. Whenever you call me again, I'll be here. Sure. Yeah. So, Tapu Uncle, would you like to sign this for me? Of course. The blue marker there. You know that after I die, this will be worth something at least. <laughs> something at least. <laughs>